Gerald W. Brister, let's continue with our series a little bit here about pipelines, rupturing pipelines and that type of thing. Um, again, you guys that are welders, a lot of you are going to know this. If you're young, you won't know it. And if you've never been a welder and you just find this interesting, I get a lot of you guys comment, even from overseas. It's pretty amazing. I want to tell you thank you right now. Um, you've never seen any of this and you find it interesting. Most of the time when pipelines rupture, it's not the girth weld, they call it. It's not the weld like this here at the end. If you put two joints piped together, most of the time it's not. I have seen some horrible trash welded from the 40s and 50s, and they did not blow out there. I saw a welded valve um, for a major utility company, and it was an old-time welded valve. looked to me like it's probably from the 50s, and they had a bad fit up. They had a big crack up here in the top about this wide on some, uh, I don't know, I think it was like 24 inch pipe. And you know what we found in it when we cut that out, we were replacing the valve. There was a piece of cold roll steel in there. You guys know what that is? Looks like a stake. They had slugged that weld with that and welded over it. I was horrified when I saw it and it was right out in the street in the subdivision on a main street in an old neighborhood, okay? But most of the time, those welds, the actual welds do not blow out. It is the seam welds I was saying in the last video. They were poorly welded, not on purpose, the best technology of the day. And some of that old pipe from the 40s and 50s and uh, about the 60s, they changed over to high frequency welding. And it's not near the problem that it used to be, okay? So usually what I've seen, I was on one job where we were hydro testing about a mile section of pipe. Five days in a row, we would cut the pipe, get the test heads on, go home, we come back the next morning, that pipe would blow out in the night while they were testing it. it. Looked like a mortar round went off in the ground. And we cut five of those out every day for five days in a row. We were testing it one and a half times the pressure operating, 36 inch, for a major gas company. Um, and uh, where it would tear is, it would tear somewhere like say in here. Two of them tore about two foot back from a weld in the welded seam. And it ripped here at the seam and it traveled until it got here at the girth weld. And then it couldn't get through that weld because the welding rods are always stronger than the strength of the pipe. You have a cap that's higher and then you have a root pass inside that's thicker. So there's thicker metal and it's always stronger than the pipe itself. And so the seam ruptured, it came to the weld and it tore about a foot right here and it peeled this back. And by that time, enough pressure escaped that it stopped. In different ways, that's what happened five days in a row. I don't know whatever they ever decided, but we, they just decided to quit testing because it's been operating fine for years without pressure testing it. I don't know what kind of shenanigans they pulled, but we finally stopped, okay? But that's usually what will happen. It's always just about in a seam. Now, I did see a picture the other day, one tore through a weld, but that's the exception to the rule, okay? The rule is that they will tear somewhere back here in these old seams. I mentioned in the last video that, uh, or one of the videos, that I almost took a uh, chief welding inspector job one time. And it was during a time when there was a shortage of people, like I talked about in one video. They were shorthanded, and it was a great compliment. But I was in over my head, and I saw that, and I saw some other things too. I have to talk about it in one video by itself. But we had all the inspection. It was a big pipeline, 42 inch, a lot of spreads. And the question was asked about these seams up here. 10 and 2. And the guy said, the seam welding is so good today, and the quality and everything is so good, we don't care where you put them. I'm Joe W. Brister, and that's your weld seam blowouts.